Hello, my listener. My name is Ambrose. Welcome back to today's topic. We are still going to continue in our previous lecture. We talk about a keyboard, and today we are going to draw the summary of uh, this keyboard. Okay. Today we are going to continue from showing you how should finger be placed when typing, and uh, and. Uh, how to distribute or spread your finger in keyboard eh? or the key that's responsible to the left hand side or the right hand side okay then at the end of the day we're going to show you what i mean by home keys versus main home key then i do we are going to give you the total figure of keys that you are going to find in a keyboard okay so let's get started in case you are just joining us we see we are still talking about a uh, keyboard the computer keyboard okay and uh, today we are going to talk about how to distribute your fingers how these keys are being distributed to the respective uh, fingers okay so let us see how we are going to do it there is a diagram i downloaded there is a diagram i downloaded from online in order for you to get it right so that uh, you understand this topic we are going to discuss one looking at this keyboard we have in our screen look at it here you don't just start typing without you knowing how all these key have been distributed to the various uh, respective uh, buttons the one of the things you need to you should be able to understand is one how all these key have been distributed to the various uh, respective then uh, how to position your finger in your keyboard or each of those buttons so we are going to disclose all this one now now this very finger which is this one this one represent one q a z that is that is why i display this one in order for you to get it right one q a z so one q a z is going to be responsible for this very one please take note all right then we have another one again two w s x is going to be responsible for this very one okay why this one represent three you can see it here you can see it here. three three e d c let us see it in another let us see it in a, a nice form. Three, E, C, D. Okay. Why the other one? Why this one is going to serve six keys? It's going to represent six key to us. This one is going to represent six key to us. Okay. So that one will not be four arrow, four arrow, four arrow, F v okay then starting from here again which is 5 t g b so this is where this one stop i get to now and each of this term each of the term can be used for spacing either if this one is closer to you can use it for spacing or if this one is closer to you can use it for spacing so that's how this finger are being used please the boundary stop at this point that is this left hand side should not on no account this left hand side each of the fingers should move from this very boundary i want to create to the right hand side it is wrong it is absolutely wrong okay so let's see this is where the boundary tgb tgb so which means this is the boundary between the two the two left hand the right hand finger and the left hand finger so on no account you should move this very very finger now or this thing this finger to this you it is wrong it is very very wrong okay it's either you are not well trained or it's either you are not following the rules okay so this is the right way on how individual should be able to so this very side should not move this this very left hand side should not move to the other territory 
because this is the boundary on the left hand side and this is the boundary on the right hand side okay so let's begin for the right hand side for the right hand side this one say she you can go to you she now you want control six key this one's okay i go see control six key that means me go control six key too okay they say this one i say are you sure you are going to control say yes because my mate control six me myself will see control six so then i gave him six buttons okay including seven making it that is a c seven eight which means eight buttons that's what is going to control so let's see let's put let let me show you how you, you are going to how, how this finger is representing each of those buttons which is this button represents c's y h n and the same this button is going to be responsible for is the same this button is going to be responsible for seven u g m it stop there then this button is going to represent eight i k comma let us see it yeah so i'll get it right eight i k comma there's something that's missing there which is uh greater than okay so let's just exclude that one out then why the last but why the that button with the that finger is going to represent nine which is this nine o l a nine o l full stop look at it here look at it here nine o button o button l full stop okay now the reason why we don't need to include this greater than because although is the same function that is this very this very finger that serve uh, that represent this uh, l is going to bear the responsibility of this greater than but in order for you to gain access to it we'll discuss it in our previous video okay well why the last one which is o p o p then we have another one which is colon slash okay let's see it o p colon slash so this is the major responsibility of this one but what about there's something we need to explain apart from what we just shared to you now what about this finger what about this what about what about these buttons i mean to say what about these buttons what about these buttons and this one who is going to control it now this is the finger that will be responsible for that okay and the same thing to this one which is delete space or return or whatever and others this button is going to be responsible to those very side okay this button this the, this finger is going to be responsible for those uh, buttons so this is the finger that's going to be responsible for those uh, buttons okay so since we now understand we now understood how to distribute our fingers to the respective keys when we are typing now there is another thing we need to explain again which is called home key because i told you that there's a called home key versus main home key what we just discussed is this very one so the main home key or home key force now home key the whole of this line is called home keys but basically this one is normally referred as a home key i need to show you in another picture in order for you to understand what i mean by that look at it i downloaded another picture in order for you to get it right this whole of this place is called home key that is here is called home key what is the function of this home key the home key says anytime individual stretch each of the finger to the the it stretch each of the finger to any of those buttons he or she is expected to return it back to the home key for instance i stretch this very finger i press button use i use this very finger to press button q and 
At the initial time, I place it at my home key. When you stretch it and press it, in body Q, you are supposed to return it back. When you stretch it and press it, you are supposed to return it back. When you stretch it, when you st we just want to press button W because this one represents the uh, button W. You are supposed to return it back. When you press this one, you are supposed to return it back. When you press this, you are supposed to return it back. When you press this one, anytime you, each time that you press each of those buttons, use each of those fingers to press each of those buttons, you are expected to return it back to the home key. And that's why we we'll say it's called home key. So home key, anytime, just as maybe you are schooling, anytime you finish receiving lecture, you are expected to go back to your home. So home is a place whereby, this home key is a place whereby you are expected to, oh, that is, is a place where your hand is always rest. That is, that is the place where those fingers rest on. Anytime you want to begin your typing and anytime you return your finger during your typing. So that is what I mean by home key. Then we, there's what we call main home key, which I would like to explain to you now. Main home key, let me zoom my keyboard that I snap in order for you to get it right. Main home key, F and J is called main home key. Why do we refer it as main home key? Because there's a kind of scratch there that we are going to, when you touch it, you feel it. We call it main home key. Even if you tie my eye by God's grace, I can still be able to type with the help of what? With the help of my main home key. My main home key, which is F and J, is called main home key. F and J is called main home key. Because they help us to identify the rest of the key whenever we are lost or we misplace our hand during our during typing. Okay, so we we'll call it main home key. They help us to identify various keys when we are typing. So we we'll call it main home key. We we'll call it main home key. And there's a kind of scratch, a kind of a kind of when you touch it, you see some you see a kind of a uh, kind of scratch at that particular point that button eh, have identified that this is the main home key some of some button phones you also see those uh, uh, home key in that very place so since you now understand how this very key being distributed to our finger another thing again is how should we use Marvis Bacon to practice this our buttons and other things that we just discussed so let us minimize and place it there is a software called Mavis Bacon the software will help you to it will guide you the purpose of this software is not a game it will guide you on how to how to type mostly for a beginner especially how to type how to push your hand most especially for beginner or even if your typing speed is not that high the purpose of this maps become is designed to guide you on how to distribute those finger during typing because giving you the full explanation here or giving you the example i just with the example of this diagram we just explained now is not enough for you to it's not enough for you to master the keyboard another thing another way you can be able to master the keyboard is for you to engage yourself in activity of Mavis Bacon that we guide you on how this finger has been distributed to various keys okay so and this Mavis Bacon you cannot just learn it one week and just stop no it's something that at least engage yourself something like three months in order for you to understand it so all you need to do you follow the instruction of the wizard of the Mavis Bacon it will guide you it will teach you on how these finger are being placed in the various key or how these uh, buttons are going to be used during typing okay so let us do something and let's see how this thing is going to work i've already installed it. you can go online and download it or go to anywhere they used to sell anywhere they sell this computer accessories go in there 
and purchase the disk and store it in your laptop or desktop computer that is the only way you can be able to gain full access to this very program because keyboard is one of the most important topic especially for a beginner if you don't know how to type if you don't know how to you make use of the keyboard in short your job may not fast as the way computer programs supposed to be so you are expected to first understand how to use this keyboard and how this keyboard to be used during working environment or anywhere you find yourself in computer environment okay so let us launch the application and let's see how it works so i've already installed my double click here and it opens okay please select your name from the list or click okay the my my back on is my phone showing maybe because of my recording device I don't new know right now create a new you okay I think I'm having some issue with this uh, application the reason why I refuse to launch is because of the my recording device I'm using for this uh, uh, video uh, but nevertheless I will try and see how I am going to fix it but for the purpose of this uh, programs I want you if you have succeeded in if you have succeeded in uh, installing the application all you need to do register then start as a beginner anytime you say button s you press button s anytime it shows button g press button g you follow its gradual process the, the, the if you follow the gradual process you will understand this uh, keyboard uh, how to use this keyboard and how to place your hand during uh, this uh, practice of a thing okay now if if in case you come in contact maybe you see the the the, the software will say it will alight it blue sorry light yellow okay light yellow so when you when it asks you to press button c you press button c when you press button a you press button a when you press button c just like that so anytime you stretch your finger to each of those buttons you expected to return it back to the various home so that is how to make use of that uh, very marvelous bacon and it's a continuous practice that will help you to speed up your accuracy during this uh, program that i'm teaching without you continue constantly constant practice constant practice at least in months in order for you to understand it properly now the total key that can be found the total key that we in case maybe you want to count you can go ahead and count it depends on the keyboard you are using of the the total key that you will come in come across is uh that is total key if you want to count the the numbers of a button that we have in this uh, keys the numbers of button that we have in this key is one o four depends on the keep depends on the product some you, you can get one o five why some it can be one o three why some can also be one o six so this is the total numbers of the buttons that can be found in your keyboard i believe this lecture you understand every single topic that i have covered up in case you don't understand it just try as much as possible to rewind back or play back this video in order for you to get it right but if i resolve if i solve this problem of this uh, software that's hanging this uh, application not to launch 
if i'll be able to solve it i can be able to make a video on this very program okay so thank you very much god bless you please don't for don't forget to subscribe to my channel all right in order for you to get new notification okay let's try to get what is going to launch okay it's not launching i don't know why it's not launching it's not launching it's not launching okay so okay so because of my recording device okay so that is why it's my function is so but nevertheless just try as much as possible to practicalize what we just said god bless you thank you and remain blessed bye for now